let's start today's highlights with football. The football match was a riveting and aggressive game against IIT Kharagpur. Heman Gadi, popularly known as Bobby, scored the equalizing goal in the second half, drawing the game 1-1. We have with us today Dalka Cho, popularly called Dalka by his teammates. He plays football for IIT Bombay. He is Ethiopian by nationality. He has come to IIT Bombay for a two-year M.Tech program in geotechnical engineering. Dalka, how was the match today? The match was very great. We have played against the uh, IIT Karakpur and uh, we have a draw 1-1. One, one. Uh, and the other the opponent team, they were a little aggressive. They have never played uh, a game like this because but in my country, Ethiopia, uh, it is peaceful, not this much aggressive. But here I have taken too much injuries today. Uh, I hope tomorrow we have a game against the IIT Madras and it will be a little uh, peaceful. Did the IT Karakpur audience try to demotivate you? No, no, no. That thing that uh, doesn't happen with me. Right. It was happening with the other guys, but they were giving uh, a little respect for me. Right. And I appreciate that. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about how different football is in the practice sessions in IT Bombay? How do you find football different compared to back home? Okay, the practice, uh, the practice section in IIT Bombay is very difficult because we have to get up early in the morning and there will be another practice at the evening. This much practice will not be there in back in my country because uh, this, will, uh, this will try to uh, develop many injuries in your body and you have to give rest for yourself. Right. As my opinion, in Ethiopia we will have only four days one right. week, right. Uh, one day match, the next week will be right. rest. Right. And I think there should be like this. We have to have some rest because here all our teammates are in Europe. Right. Can, because we have uh, many uh, like friendly match over there. Right. So that's the, that put us back in the field. Right. And that's where we have uh, the job best. Right. So thank you very much. We heard Dalka who has replaced Harmin as the best footballer in the institute right now. Thanks a lot. In table tennis, IIT Bombay played IIT Jodhpur today and our team was tremendously successful in both the men's and the women's categories. IIT Bombay contingent leader Shitej Jain won two out of two games with Divya Taparia winning the only game he played. Shitej Sankhe, who plays his first inter IIT this year, lost two toughly contested matches. With this, the men's team beat IIT Jodhpur 3-2. The women's team beat IIT Jodhpur 3-0 with Niyati Jamaria and Arushi Agarwal winning straight set. So, it was a comfortable match. We experimented with our new player Shetet Sankhe and he played well. So, uh, well, that's a good confidence booster for him. And we are looking forward to you know, playing Sankhe in the future. Yeah, so, like tomorrow, tomorrow we have Patna and that should also be a comfortable match. Our only test in the group stage will be Kharagpur. That is the day after tomorrow. In lawn tennis, the men's team comprising of Neer Gandhi, Akash Jangit and Shashank Srivastava easily beat IIT Jodhpur in straight sets. The women's team however faced tough luck with Archana Gulgulia and Anam losing to IIT Madras in straight sets. So we are joined by Archana Gulgulia, the current girls sports nominee and Niyati last year's sports nominee to talk to us about the prospects of the girls contingent here. Uh, by the way, the girls, women's and the men's general championship are very separate and we tend to have, people tend to have the misunderstanding that we bring home the overall general championship so that's not the scene. Last year we got the men's general championship and women's was second, uh, the first were taken home by Hukki. Generally for Bombay, it is the way, it's like we, uh, we generally qualify lead with most of our sports. The challenge is start from quarters and semis and depends on what goal you get, what team are you facing. Most of, some, this time now a lot of freshies have come into various teams and hence we are not expecting them, we are not practiced according to that opponent. So that in baddie, even in basketball that's the case, a lot of freshies have come. So, that's one of the things that we, because freshies generally tend to take a lot of love out and that how that happens. So let's see how that goes. What's on the weather here is very different. Especially for lawn tennis, it's so windy out here that you're not playing against such. The courts are extremely different. They have a different slope altogether. You play on an extremely new courts, so that's a different feel. Everything is new in the campus. Rather, the badminton courts were inaugurated yesterday itself and I got more with the guests. So it's a good, the facilities are good, but they're different from what we have. Definitely, in general, are good. Recently, Corona was good. The weather is a bit serious. 
The hockey match against IIT Mandi was rated by the audience as the most comical match ever witnessed by them. In a clinical display, IIT Bombay scored 11 goals, with IIT Mandi scoring nil. Game तो ठीक था मतलब काफी chances थे जो और convert कर सकते थे। बाकी ठीक action था start आगे और team से देखते हैं कैसा। ये हो गया। We were one almost there। We we decided to score twelve goals but यार eleven score क्या था? Only eleven goals आ गए। Only आ गए। It was fine game, fine performance, your team proved our game again. In an interesting basketball match, our men beat IIT Kanpur 56-42 and our women beat Kanpur 33-24, marking a very successful day for the basketball team. Awesome! The weightlifting team saw huge success. In the lightweight category, Sumit Bhagat won the gold with Irshad Roshad bagging bronze. IIT Bombay stands a tantalizing second at 7 points, just 1 point behind hosts Guwahati. It's a very chilly evening here in Guwahati, but I have with us today Sumit Bhagat who has given a very heartwarming performance, winning gold in weightlifting today. Tell us more Sumit. Today was our first day of weightlifting. We had 56 categories and 62 categories. In that category, our bronze medal came from 56 categories. It was called Hirshad Roshan. It was done for both men. It continued for 2 years. जो भी कर रहा है वो अच्छा है टोटली बहुत ही हार्ड वर्क है आज तीन साल से कंटिन्यू गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट है इस साल उसने इंटर आईडी में ओल्ड रिकॉर्ड खुद के ही रिकॉर्ड उसने चार रिकॉर्ड ब्रेक किए वो नेक्स्ट ईयर उसका लास्ट ईयर है हाँ आज तक हिस्ट्री में कंटिन्यू चार साल गोल्ड मेडल कोई लाया नहीं आया हो नेक्स्ट ईयर भी वो गोल्ड पे आएगा इसके लिए अभी से ऑल द बेस्ट उसके लिए और एक साल बचा है हम और फाइट करेंगे ये तो पहला मेडल था हो सकता है तो और लेट्स वी फाइट in athletics, the events today were the 400 meter race, the short put throws, and the long jump. The 400 meters race saw Prithvi and Pawan qualifying to the finals, which are to be held later. Ashwarya Malgonde in the women's category also qualified to the finals. The volleyball performance by the men today was poor. In a passive performance, they lost to IIT Delhi in straight sets by huge margins. They will hope to bounce back soon tomorrow against IIT Mandi in which they are the clear favourites. The women's team performed admirably against IIT Madras, beating them in straight sets, scoring 25-19 and 25-16.